because I didn't want to give John this promotion, but I understood in the role that uh, he will get it. Uh, I, I saw the ability of uh, John to, you know, really blossom and ask for it. He was lost. He was sunk. And if he didn't say anything, he was going to be in that role forever. Is there a particular person in the group here that could hold you accountable to make sure that you do it? Oh, wow, that's great. I think that Joshua... Psychodrama uses oh. homework, but CBT uses homework. So psychodrama and CBT are very intertwined. So that's my latest uh, application of combining CBT uh, and psychodrama with cancer survivors that have gone through, that are survived up to that point in stage four. The two men were narcissists, Slavson and Marino. They would not budge uh, at all. Hello, welcome to channel on action explorations. I'm Anna Bobikova. Our topic today is integrating cognitive behavioral therapy and psychodrama interview with Dr. Thomas Treadwell. Hello, Tom. Hi, Anna. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. New online education alert. If you're studying psychodrama and would like to learn it online with pre-recorded video formats, please check out actionexplorations.education. Watch for detailed announcement at the end of this video. So what we want to do next now is we want to de-roll. Okay, it's very important to de-roll. And I'm going to go, Anna, in the role of John, Confident John. What was it like being in the role of Confident John? Confident John. Okay, so um, I'll be then like this in Confident John. Um, well, it was amazing. Uh, it, it I liked it because it's very, um, I think uh, it's just, it just matches my uh, um, just business situation, and it's it was very energizing <laughs> me, Anna, to be in the role of John uh, to feel this confidence. Okay, and what was it like being in the role of not confident, John? Okay, I did not have energy in this role. I would say I learned something from this role, like it was maybe like ex uh, a little piece of exploration. Okay, okay, all right, okay. <clears throat> and what was it like being in the role of boss? Uh, in the role of boss, it was, well, it was nice to be in the role of boss because I, 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 I was feeling the power and it was very nice. Uh, like I just felt strength. <laughs> it was, I didn't want to give John this promotion, but I understand that I understood in the role that uh, he will get it. He was so confident. Okay. And when I was in the role of the double, you know, I thought I felt two things. Uh, in the confident role, I saw, uh, I, I saw the ability of uh, John to, you know, really blossom and ask for it. And I also felt that in the John in the inadequate role, he was lost. He was sunk. And if he didn't say anything, he was going to be in that role forever. And that he didn't really want that. So we de-roll to get everybody back to their selves and shut off the, sh shed off the various roles that we have. And then we bring it now open to the group. And the group shares their experiences <clears throat> that they may have seen or experienced themselves with John. Okay. Some people, uh -huh. will, yeah, some people will say, yes, I know I was in this particular situation uh, with my employer and I didn't ask and I uh, lost an awful lot of pay and, and then I lost my insurance, you know, so speaking up is really important. That's an example of sharing uh, with yes. the protagonist. Okay, and so all the group members, not necessarily all, but group members share with the protagonist 
what their experiences may have been in reference to this scene that we have just seen. So that's kind of how we uh, <clears throat> wrap it up. So we de-roll and we go to the group for sharing and then we uh, end, then we terminate. Uh-huh. And is it right that in the group, for instance, this would be the group, you would be also using your chart, right? And like kind of walk through the whole seven columns, actually. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, okay. And I might, I, I, and uh, it, since we did this in action right on, on the stage here, my uh -huh. homework assignment for John would be, when do you think you could uh, w uh, ask uh, your boss for a raise in real time? Ah. Okay. So my homework is that. So and 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 um, let's just say, uh, John, when do you think is a good time you you could ask your boss for a raise from the confident self? When when would be a good day or how? When would this happen? Well, right after Thanksgiving. Okay. Oh, okay. Good, good. Now, is there a particular person in the group here that could hold you accountable to make sure that you do it? Oh, wow. That's great. Okay. Um, I think that um, uh, Joshua would, would be a great uh, partner for me to, to check on me. <laughs> right. And I would ask Joshua, are you okay with doing that? Would you be able to follow up with Anna? Oh, that's wonderful. Uh-huh. And just to make sure, and then I would make sure that Josh has uh, Anna's phone number uh, or text uh, or yeah. email address. So that is carried out. Wow. Even though we do it in action on the stage and he or she carries it out, we also want to send him, send it, him home uh, with homework to area, actually carry out the, <laughs> the mission of asking for a raise. So we just not, we didn't just play, we, we, we making it doable. Okay, oh, Correct. that's amazing. Correct. Wow. The homework is also a CBT uh, component. Yes. But, oh yeah. yeah. But, but, but the homework is also part of psychodrama as well. So that's, so that's an example of how the two really merge. Uh -huh. So psychodrama uses oh. homework, but CBT uses homework. So. Psychodrama and CBT are very intertwined. Wow, that's very that's, powerful. You did a little excursion into history and we did a little demo, but I already feel and see how it works. We were doing that piece about the rolling. So I'm not John, I'm not John's boss. Your Honor, that's yes. very important that you shake off those roles. <laughs> it's really, it's a very component, key component of psychodrama. Because if you yes. don't let those roles, if you let those roles stay, they will bog down the protagonist. Yes. Okay? And so yes. shaking them off and saying, okay, I'm back to Anna. I'm back to Anna. <laughs> Tom, could you please uh, briefly uh, tell about your practice? I, I know you, you do a lot of things together. Could you please briefly just uh, let people know more about you, what you do? Well, um, I have been teaching group psychotherapy and psychodrama for 25 years and uh, or more. And I'm uh, consistently developing new uh, ways of delivering this methodology um, of combining the CBT uh, with um, psychodrama. And I was specifically training doctoral students uh, to become uh, therapists uh, with using the combination uh, of CBT and psychodrama. I'm also the editor of the group Psychologist, uh, and there I'm always asking and looking for contributors to share their thoughts and ideas about what they do and uh, perhaps uh, I'm going to be offering trainings in the group psychotherapy model that I just showed uh, at the American um, Group Psychotherapy Association and also at the American uh, Society for Group Psychotherapy and Psychodrama. Uh -huh. So I offer trainings there. My newest 
uh, application of the combination of CBT and psychodrama is with cancer patients. That I, I have I have not started doing this yet. I just have written a uh, protocol that includes uh, cognitive behavioral therapy and psychodrama uh, with cancer patients, and it's a specific cancer uh, patient that I'm targeting first uh, because cancer is so so big, and there's so many wow. different cancers. So I I am not uh, addressing the total cancer, but I am addressing kidney cancer. So I've developed a specific protocol for kidney cancer patients that have uh, developed up to stage four uh, of cancer. And so that's my latest uh, application of combining CBT uh, and psychodrama with cancer survivors that have gone through, that are survived up to that point in stage four. So that's that. That's what I'm doing, and I'm I'm open to do workshops uh, via Zoom, uh, or uh, I really prefer in person. Zoom is I know. Yeah, Zoom is good, uh, and I I like Zoom, um, but the in person is is really my forte. Okay, could you please share a little bit about your latest book? Sure. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> I was a little, you know, this is my latest book. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. It just came out yesterday. Um, I was just proofing it and going through it. And um, it's, 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 a, it's a good textbook. Um, it, it walks you through what I just got through explaining. Yes. Uh, and yeah. showing you. Uh, how we combine, and in in the back of it, there are worksheets uh, for you to follow. There's the uh, thought record that um, <clears throat> I did with on uh, and shared it on the screen. I have the whole seven column th thought record. I have an example of how to do it. Uh, so there's there's a lot of good information. I have all the roles and stuff of psychodrama. I have all the like I've explained psychodrama quite to a T in the book, and I have CBT explained quite to a T and how I combine them. So the, the book is, uh, yeah, it's out. And I have my older book, uh, which is not that old. Um, I really like that book uh, as well because the worksheets in that book are very, very good. I did realize after looking at the book that just came out, I submitted this book uh, pre-COVID, and uh, what I was unable to do was to include the telehealth uh, component uh, in the book. So that I realized I have to add another edition uh, to the textbook. Ah. Uh. All right, so I got the idea right away. So since we're doing, I'm doing that uh, online education project, I'll talk, guys, after the video, I'll talk to Dr. Treadwell and ask him to maybe we could do the uh, online educational program, if he would agree. <laughs> uh, Tom, could you please uh, say your message uh, to the viewers? My message is short and sweet. Um, and it dates back to 1942, uh, where two men, J.L. Marino and uh, uh, a man named Slavson, uh, both developed two organizations. One was the American Society of Group Psychotherapy and Psychodrama, and the other one was the American Group Psychotherapy Association. Uh, one was sort of more psychoanalytically oriented, and one was psychodramatically oriented, the two men were narcissists, Slavson and Marino. They would not budge uh, at all. And so the two uh, mod group psychotherapy modalities have stood alone and they're separate. Now, what we need to do is bridge that gap between the two associations and um, <clears throat> for a better uh, outcome for mental health. And 
The combination of CBT and psychodrama is an example of how to do that. Uh, and we need to have other modalities. The combination with psychodrama is absolutely powerful. One other important thing is that um, psychodrama itself is not evidence-based. Uh, group psychotherapy is indeed evidence-based. And we're now developing an evidence-based uh, website uh, under Division 49 in the American Psychological Association. Uh, Gary Burlingame is in charge of this uh, development. And on that, uh, on that website, you will, have, you will see group psychotherapy as an evidence-based uh, psychotherapy. Under group psychotherapy comes psychodrama. And so one can say in the future that psychodrama, if you practice psychodrama, you can say it's evidence-based if it's under the uh, name of group psychotherapy. And that's kind of one of the things that J.L. Marino did. He did it develop uh, group psychotherapy first, then psychodrama, then sociometry, and then he had psychiatry. But those are the three, the triadic model right there. Group psychotherapy, psychodrama, <clears throat> and sociometry. Psychodrama can fall under group psychotherapy, and we can call it evidence-based. So yeah. psychodramatists have something to hang their hat on now that I don't think that they did. But we need to have more uh, work in combination with the American Group Psychotherapy Association and the American uh, Society of Group Psychotherapy, Psychodrama, and Sociometry. So that's my message. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Treadwell. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. And namaste. If you'd like to learn psychodrama online from leading trainers affordably and at your own pace, go to actionexplorations.education. This is my project to expand access to the best trainers in the world. It's my baby. We are working with the leading psychodrama trainers to present pre-recorded programs. The programs will include lecture, cases, and evaluations. There will be a large selection of action exploration subjects. I'm going to add from 5 to 10 modules per month, so the content will be very rich. We discussed with uh, Dr. Thomas Treadwell uh, to do the full course of a combination of uh, CBT with psychodrama for action explorations education, and uh, we agreed to do this. Please keep watching and uh, checking action explorations education, and uh, the program will be there shortly. Namaste.